Hi guys, today's video is going to be another DIY room decor video. I'm super excited for this video, and if you're excited to see more DIYs, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and if you make any of these, make sure to send me pictures because I would love to see them. Now enough with all of that, let's jump right into the DIY. First up is this really pretty floral lampshade. What you're going to need is a lampshade. Mine's from Ikea. Fake flowers, I got these at the dollar store. Scissors and a glue gun. You're just going to remove the flowers from the stem and after that there's gonna be a little piece left. Go ahead and cut those off all of the flowers. As I mentioned earlier, this DIY is super simple. So all you have to do is take your hot glue gun and put a generous amount of glue onto the back of each flower and then simply press it down onto the lampshade and just repeat this process for each of the flowers, really just gluing them in any type of arrangement that you would like. If you don't like the color of these flowers, you can customize this DIY by choosing any color flowers you would like. So that's basically all you have to do until you've fully covered your lampshade. The great thing about hot glue is it doesn't take that long to dry. So as you can see, I'm already all done and this is what my finished lampshade looks like. These doily bowls might be my new favorite thing. To make these, you're going to need any type of white glue, food coloring, salt, plastic containers, something to cover your workspace, and some doilies. You're also going to need some clear plastic wrap. First, add one tablespoon of salt to one cup of water and then mix that up. That's just going to help the food coloring absorb to the fabric better. So add your food coloring and then go ahead and dip either the ends of the doily or the whole doily, whatever look you're going for. And then you can just repeat the same process if you want to use multiple colors as you see here. After you've let those dry for a few hours, you're ready to move on to the glue process. So just add equal parts glue to water, uh, depending on how much you need and how many you're making. And then go ahead and cover your bowls with the clear plastic wrap. Now make sure that the bowls you're using are really round because this is what is going to give your doily bowl the shape that it has. After that, you wanna go ahead and dip your doily into the glue and water mixture. Make sure you cover the entire doily in the mixture because that's what's going to create the bowl effect. So you just wanna go ahead and put that on top of the bowl and then smooth it out and make sure it's laying nice and flat on top of the bowl. And just repeat that process for each of the doilies. If you're only making one, then obviously you don't have to repeat this process. Make sure you let them dry overnight and after they're completely dry, you wanna just go ahead and cut the excess plastic from the sides of the bowls. This is just going to make it easier when you have to remove the inside layer of the plastic. I also forgot to mention that the food coloring part is completely optional, so if you just want to make white doily bowls, go ahead and skip that whole food coloring process and start with the gluing. But lastly, you just wanna remove that excess plastic and once you're done with that, your bowls are all finished. Last but not least is this really cool picture frame holder and you can pretty much use it to hold whatever you'd like. Sunglasses, jewelry, pictures, and you can hang it on a wall or you can set it on a table. It's really cool. For this, you're going to need a frame, some spray paint, whichever color you want, parachute cord, again, choose whichever color you want, something to cover your workspace, and a hot glue gun. For the first step, remove everything from the picture frame, including the backing. Spray paint one or two coats of the spray paint, depending on how many your picture frame needs. Take your string and just get an idea of how many times you can wrap it around and where you want to glue it. Once you've figured that out, you can go ahead and take your hot glue and begin gluing. Make sure you use a generous amount of glue and keep in mind, if you don't glue the string in a zigzag form, then any pictures you put in it are going to fall through. But if you're just using it for sunglasses or jewelry, then you can glue it straight across. But I personally think that the zigzag form is enough. As you can see here, you use a lot of glue. But yeah, this is what the finished product looks like. I think it looks super cool in the zigzag form. I think it looks a little bit more unique. But you can go ahead and glue the string straight across if you like that better. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you would like me to start doing weekly DIY videos. 
The music in this video is by Brad and Travis. I will have both of their channels linked down below. Make sure to check them both out and subscribe to their channels. My Twitter and Instagram will also be in the description box down below if you haven't already followed me on there. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!